Will we still have polar bears in 30 years? Rising temperatures in Greenland are starting to lead to changes in polar bear DNA. Our research looked at how jumping gene activity is changing in these polar bears. These jumping genes, they make up about a third of the polar bear genome. They're parts of our genome that can just copy and paste and reinsert somewhere else completely randomly. Sometimes the effects when they reinsert can be completely wiped out and repaired by all of the cells, but sometimes they're not, and sometimes they leave a little mark of that historical event. And what temperatures do is they stress out the cell so it can't always keep up with that repair and we see mutations appearing that can lead to some beneficial effects that can help the polar bears adapt to their new environment. So in 30 years time, perhaps even sooner, I think we'll see effects similar to what we're seeing in the polar bears in not just our pets, but all animals, including ourselves. Quite a lot is already being seen in plants. We'll start to see changes in animals and things like insects and, and frogs are particularly on the front line of that. But any animal that can't regulate its own temperature, so they're gonna be a bit more stressed and more likely to see changes. RNA sequencing is a real great technology that we have. And what RNA sequencing does is takes the RNA from cells and takes all of those bricks and assembles them in the order that they are to work out what models we could build from that. And we use computers and lots of algorithms to go through all of the bricks and put them in the right order and work out how many copies we have.